Thousands of vaccinations put on hold because of this nor'easter. Tonight, though, the meeting at the White House still moving forward. President Biden and 10 Republican senators, nine in person, one dialing by phone. President Biden has proposed his $1.9 trillion COVID relief plan, $1,400 checks for most Americans, money for vaccinations and for small businesses. Those 10 Republican senators with their own plan. So here's our senior White House correspondent, Mary Bruce, tonight. With millions of Americans suffering and Democrats ready to go it alone on a COVID relief bill, I'm anxious for to talk. President Biden today invited 10 Republican senators to the Oval Office to hear them out. The Republicans bringing with them their own plan for a relief package, and there is some common ground. Like Biden, the Republicans are calling for $160 billion for vaccines and testing and help for small businesses. But while Biden wants $1,400 direct payments to most Americans, Republicans want to limit the checks to $1,000 and send them only to lower income Americans. The biggest difference, the overall price tag. Biden's plan is nearly $2 trillion. The Republican plan, just $600 billion. The president and Democrats are urging Republicans to go big. It makes no sense to pinch pennies when so many Americans are struggling. The risk of doing too little is far greater than the risk of doing too much. But Republicans insist the bill is just too sweeping and say now is the time for Biden to fulfill his promise of unity. If we can't find uh, common ground on this issue, COVID-19 response, uh, it really sets the stage for uh, the inability to find common ground on many other things. But even the president has seemed to acknowledge a bipartisan bill may not be possible. I support passing COVID relief with support from Republicans if we can get it, but the COVID relief has to pass. There's no if, ands, or buts. Thank you. So today, we asked the White House. Should we take that as a sign that the president recognizes he may have to be abandoning his hopes for bipartisanship? I think it's hardly an abandoning of bipartisanship. We'll see what comes out of this meeting today, and if there are good ideas to put forward, we'll put forward them. There's still time to do exactly that. All right, so let's get right to Mary live at the White House tonight. And Mary, even before this meeting this evening, the White House sending the Republican senators a message of sorts that they will need to go bigger. David, the White House is hammering this point, insisting the real risk here is in going too small, not too big. But the president is adamant that he can get Republicans on board here. So the big question now is just how far is Biden willing to go to achieve that bipartisanship? The Republican proposal is less than a third of the cost of Biden's plan. It seems pretty clear that is not going to fly here. David. Mary Bruce tonight following this meeting. Mary, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.